To build a free blog post with 120 AI art styles, I tested 120 styles across Midjourney, Flux and Stable Diffusion SD 3.5. It showed how each platform responds to AI art keywords with Midjourney clearly the king. Since Flux didn't do so well, I was very motivated to find a simple trick to unlock Flux's hidden potential for AI art styles. So in this video I'll show you that Flux can create amazing AI art, the 40 AI art keywords Flux didn't respond to at all, the reason why it doesn't respond to those AI art keywords, and the simple trick to get mid-journey level AI art in Flux. But first I'll show you where to find the blog post and how it can inspire your AI art. On my homepage AI video courses in the menu item tutorials you can find all my tutorials and blog posts. And there you can find the 120 AI art styles. And as you can see I sorted them in six different categories. And the reason I did this is because when I'm searching for inspiration for AI art styles on platforms like CivitEye or Prompt Hero or here in the search box on Midjourney, I get amazing images but I can't search per category. So that's why I think that this blog post can make the start of your AI image creation easier by getting inspiration in uh, several categories. Here we can see the classical and historical AI art style examples and one of my favorite categories is the optical and photographic AI art styles examples. Perfect for optical illusions and photographic techniques. And you can also copy the images by right clicking on it and then select save image as. So you can use them for style transfer in Midjourney or Flux Redux. And at the moment I'm working on a very exciting tutorial for that. I hope you enjoy this blog post and if you'd like to support my work and are in a financial position to do so, you can buy the styles PDF for $5 on my fourth world shop. This helps me keep making free blog posts and YouTube videos. Before we look at Flux's hidden potential for AI art styles, I'll show you the AI art keywords Flux didn't respond to and explain you why this happened. On the left you can see all 120 AI art styles are created for the blog post. I used Flux Dev, Flux Pixel Wave and Stable Diffusion SD 3.5 to generate them. The AI art keywords in blue were not recognized by any of these models. Those styles were created with Midjourney, which by the way is the only model that recognized all the AI art keywords. This is because Midjourney is trained on large datasets where images are paired with detailed captions, including captions for AI art styles. This allows it to recognize nearly all AI art keywords. Flux however has been trained differently. I assume it uses less detailed training data, which includes standard concept but lacks coverage for specialized art styles. This is why Flux struggles to recognize many art styles based solely on those specific keyword prompts. And this leads us to the simple trick to get any art style in Flux. Well actually it's more like two tricks. But first I want to show you how amazing Flux AI art can be when using the two simple tricks. The first one is the Alabrias art. The second one is abstract expressionism art. The third one is bacteria art. The fourth one is cymatics art. The fifth one is claymation art. And the sixth one is enameled art. So I will use replicate to show you how to create amazing AI art with Flux. To set up Flux locally watch this video on my channel for a detailed guide. On replicate you scroll down and you click on explore models. Then you type Flux in here and you choose use the Flux family of nodes. And for this tutorial I'm going to scroll down to Flux Dev which has the lowest cost per image. And if you want a detailed video on how to set a replicate.com account then I would recommend to watch this video. Replicate has no monthly subscription, you are charged monthly based on usage. If you don't run anything you pay nothing. The first trick to get better art images with Flux is to use the fact that its captioning includes standard concepts like for example the word wool. And in the four images you can see that we don't really get the image that we exactly want to have, but it definitely recognizes the word wool. And this is something we need to use in our advantage. This means we need to look at our example image, see what details it has and start describing them. And this brings us to the second trick, using Joy Caption Alpha 2, a free tool on Hugging Face that describes your images. So as an example I'm going to use the art style Dadaism for my blog post, I'm going to right click on it and save the image. Then I will drag it into here, scroll down and click on caption. Now it calculates and it will describe what it sees. But before we are going to use this information, let's see what Flux knows about this information and how it responds to this. So I created four images and you can clearly see that it does recognize the word painting and the word woman, but it really doesn't have a clue what to do with dataism. 
And this especially shows when we compare it with the knowledge Midjourney has about Dadaism. You can clearly see the chaotic, absurd style that Dadaism represents. So back in Joy Caption, we could copy the whole prompt, but then we probably get a very similar image and we just only want the details. So I'm going to copy this bit and I will add it to this prompt. Then I will also copy this bit and also add it to the prompt. And now we can see that we are already getting much closer, but there's still some tweaking to do. So let's analyze the prompt and then we can see that we need to change tiles into shapes. And I also think that the word mosaic needs to be changed in shapes as well. And we have to change street art to painting. And now we can see that we are getting much closer to the Dadaism style we are looking for. I did the same with the other images. And the yellow marked text shows the prompts I used from the Joy Caption tool. This proves that Flux can create amazing art styles. It just takes a tiny bit more work, but the results are very exciting and pleasing. One last thing to mention is the importance of the Flux Guidance setting. Low Flux Guidance from 0.5 to 2.0 works better for rougher looks. And higher Flux Guidance is ideal for more polished results. For example, with the Alabrius Art Dragon, I used a Flux Guidance of 4.0. Another way to create amazing art with Flux is by using the art images with the style transfer options in Flux Redux. And in this upcoming video, I'll show you exactly how to do this. To learn more about text to image techniques, Watch this video. The title focuses on AI filmmaking, but the core is all about text to image prompting.